Good morning. Open your hymnals till number 210210, verse number one. We gather together. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing now cease from distressing sing praises to his name he has made of his own good morning everyone good morning thank you for gathering here in the sanctuary along with those that are following online at home today we are celebrating uh, this mass uh, for St. Maximilian Kolbe, a priest and martyr. Uh, the Mass is being offered for the intention of Tony and Judy Mina. Come, you blessed of my Father, says the Lord. Amen, I say to you. Whatever you did for one of the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who filled the priest and martyr St. Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly saving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are at peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet their hope full of immortality, Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through the stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is for the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. The responsorial psalm, pray precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones, I believed even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my, in my alarm, no man is dependable. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. 
I, the Lord, am your servant. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you hate life in this world, you will preserve it to eternal. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no, long, I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I told you everything that I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Whatever you ask my Father in my name, he will give you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Maximilian Kolbe, the priest and martyr of the church. He became a prisoner because of what he was doing to proclaim the good news. And he was taken with other Christians together in prisons. And when he was there in the prison, one of the prisoners was condemned to death. And instead of being condemned, that prisoner, St. Maximilian Colby, he decided to be condemned to death on his behalf. And he did it because he said, I have no family but you have family, children, let me die for you. And he did it. And the church continued to thank God for the gift of grace he gave to Maximilian Colby. Even today, we have people like Maximilian Colby. And I remember I shared with you one time in Tanzania, one of the father, his son, he was caught with owning the gun illegally. And he was taken to court. And that day of the judgment, the court decided that young man to go in jail for five years. And the father was there. He stand up and told the judge, I'm here to go on his behalf. And he went to jail. And I used to go there and give him sacraments. And I remember the last year when he was in jail, he was almost dying. He did that because of his love to his son and because of his love to his grandchildren. What do we learn from the feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe today? Jesus died for all of us and he wants us to show love to one another. 
And he wants us even to go further, to be ready to die for our brothers and sisters for the sake of love. Even if we cannot undergo the same situation like Maximilian Colby or this man who was in jail in Tanzania, but our life also is all about sacrifice, to love one another, to continue to show our love to our brothers and sisters. But our commitment is always to put God first and others. Let us follow the 40 steps of St. Maximilian Kolbe to put our trust in, in God and to let God say in our lives and whatever he wants us to do, we do it with an open heart and readiness to save one another. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, as you empowered Maximilian Kolbe to be ready to die for the sake of your love, give us courage always to extend our love as we walk together with love and peace. And for this we pray. For us to gain strength from the courage of Maximilian Kolbe and be willing to live our lives for Christ, we pray to the Lord. For us to see our crosses in life as opportunities to draw closer to the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For us to follow the teachings of Christ and be willing to lay down our own wants and needs so we might save others, we pray to the Lord. For all the parents and children who will be signing up for this year's religious education, Catching Fire and YOA to desire to know God better, we pray to the Lord. For all those in hospitals, nursing homes, homebound, or suffering in any way to seek the Lord for comfort and healing, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious seminarians, and lay leaders to deepen their love for the Lord so they can then share that with others, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you become for us the spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We present our oblations, you, O Lord, humbly praying that you may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just to to know salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your sins are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. And therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end, we are clean. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that if by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, Pray throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Tony and Judy Mina, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died on all mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, O oh, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you, thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed by the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from his holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And also those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Jesus is calling us to offer our love to one another. Even at the moment when we can even sacrifice our own lives. You can see the way the mothers, they are ready to die for their children. You can see the way sometimes the soldiers, they are ready to die simply because of protection of our country. That's the great love to offer because of the love of Christ to one another. Let us continue to pray so that God may give us strength and even the courage to be ready to do according to his will. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ending. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Number 210 in your book, verse 2. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining, whose kingdom calls all to the love which endures. So from the beginning, the fight we were winning, your Lord were at our side.